how to import your X leads data into Ninja mode. So everybody knows inside of X leads, you get two types of softwares. You get the actual X leads software where you can pull data, find buyers and use the internal CRM. Then you have X leads Ninja mode, which is our Ninja mode CRM, right? This is kind of our marketing CRM, our CRM for the leads. A lot of people get really confused with it of which one's which, right? So XLeads is the actual base software and then Ninja Mode is our go high level, right? We built an entire CRM on top of go high level just for wholesaling real estate. And that is given to you absolutely for free because it includes e-signing, a dialer, SMS texting. And let's be frank, go high level has the best CRM in the game and most people are charging an extra $100 on top of the software. We're just giving it to you absolutely for free. So how do I start taking lists from X leads and putting it into Ninja mode? Well, this is what we're gonna solve today. So I'm here inside of X leads and I actually just did a whole tutorial on finding mobile homes and I thought it was pretty cool. So let's actually do that really quick, right? So I'm in St. Lucie County and what we're gonna do is go to filters and let's just find uh, nothing above 300. Let's do 250,000 here, just pulling a quick mobile home list, right? So I selected mobile homes here okay no hoas right put no hoas lean types are right here i want to make sure it's individual let's put three years ownership on this sucker and i want at least 50 percent equity and we're just pulling a simple list right here and now it's got 1500 leads so really not bad right there so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to select all right here go to my leads I'm going to press download. Now, all I'm going to do here is go to standard, make sure we get lead tracing. We just got to choose what we want to do here, right? But we can lead trace, property details, valuations, transactions, really all this information that you want. Then what we're going to do here is just press export 1500 leads and the export is going to start being generated here. Now, while it's exporting, right, we got to make sure it processes. And all we got to do is kind of just wait behind here and let the skip tracing be done, right? We do live skip tracing, we don't do any dead skip tracing, so it's gonna take a second, uh, but it should be here in about a couple more seconds. All right, so the data set just got downloaded, so what we need to do here is just go down here to Ninja Mode and open up our Ninja Mode. Now, remember, when you sign up for X Leads, you're gonna get two emails, your login access to the base X Leads and your login access to X Leads Ninja Mode. If you don't have it, all you have to do is just press forgot password on Ninja Mode, and your information is already gonna be right there. So right here, we are inside of X Leads Ninja Mode, and the best way to go out here and import the data is just going here to Contacts. So go down here to Contacts, and there's gonna be all of our information. Obviously, I can't share the names here. I have to blur these all out because of YouTube's policies, uh, but you gotta guess the names, right? So all I have to do is, you see these tabs right here, right? Now, all we have to do is just press the Import Contacts tab, and then we're all good here. So we're just going to add this onto contacts. We're going to press next. Now we're going to upload our file. And right here, we have the file right here. Now it's going to be very important that we put create and update contacts right here. We're going to press next and it's going to create and update this data set. Now we're going to have to map these fields. Now, unfortunately, again, most of these fields are unfortunately going to be blocked out. Now, first thing we have here is first name. So obviously the first name is connected here. So that's good. Last name is connected here. You're going to see a recipient address. Recipient address is going to be the mailing address. So we're not really going to touch this for the marketing. So we're going to skip recipient. Now we're right here to property address. This is going to be the subject property. So we're going to press contact and we're just going to scroll this down until we find street address. Now property city is going to be the actual city. So we're going to click here. We're going to press city. We're going to do state. Obviously we're going to go here to state. Now we have zip code. We're going to match property postal code to zip code. And we have county. We can skip that. Owner type, skip that. We really care about most of this information. But when it comes down here to contact one phone number, which is blurred out, but these are the phone numbers. All we're going to do is scroll down here and just do phone. Then from there, we're going to go to phone two. So this is the second phone number, right? And we're going to put additional phones here. Now, if you're in email blasting, you can do contact one email and then just match that to email. And if you want to do a second email, you can do contact one email here and just do additional emails. And that's pretty much all we have to do. Now we're going to scroll back down here. This is all information we don't really need. Now, if you are doing ROS, you might want to keep this AVM if you're going to do the triple tap marketing system, but you can or can't do really up to you. 
But let's just skip that for now. And what we're going to do here is don't import the other unmapped columns. And we're going to press next. Now from here, we can actually just put all these mobile homes I pulled into the cold calling workflow and make it really simple. Or I could just add the tags and they'll be ready to go. So if I wanted to add a tag, so these are ready to cold call, I'd press add tags, put it under the power dialer tag and it'll be ready to start calling. But if you just want to make it even more simple, which frankly would make it even easier, then press add imported context to the workflow. And I'm just going to put it under the power dialer workflow. Now the main issue you can only do one at a time. So if I wanted to call and text this list, I would just put it under power dialer and then tag the sucker under SMS blaster. And you can do two in one right here. Then from there, all we're going to do is press confirm all contacts and press start bulk import. And it's going to bulk import all this information and all the tags and the workflows you want to be in are going to be in there right there. So that's how easy it is to pull a list from X leads and put it into Ninja Mode to start marketing and start getting wholesaling deals. Guys, if you've got any more questions, go to our X leads course instead of freewholesaling.com. Subscribe to this YouTube channel and we'll see you soon. This is Zach Kinn signing off. Have a blessed one.